Listen, good morning. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you is our prayers. Welcome to the virtual services of the New Ebenezer Baptist Church, 6300 Hartford Avenue here in the city of Detroit, Michigan. I'm Pastor Wallace R. Mills, Jr. We're praising and blessing God for what the Lord is doing, what the Lord has done, and what the Lord shall continue to do in our lives. It is the fourth Sunday in October, and the Lord has certainly blessed us and kept us. He has delivered us. He has healed us. He has made us strong, and God has been our peace in the midst of all of our troubles and trials. The scripture says, and let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Which simply says to you and I that have been redeemed by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, that we come together, that we might praise, magnify, and glorify our Savior. Wherever you are, whether you're on our conference call, whether you're watching us virtually by way of YouTube or either by way of Facebook on today, or in the sanctuary, wherever your place is of worship today, it is a place where God ought to get your best. If you're at home, come on to your feet. You're at home, come on to your feet. If you're in your vehicle, pull over for a moment. Pull over for a moment in the sanctuary. You know how we do it. We come to our feet. We give God the praise for what the Lord has done. Welcome to the services of the New Ebenezer Baptist Church. Welcome.
over. When the music stops, do you know Jesus? Does he live in your heart? When your life is troubled, Jesus still wants to be a part. Do you know Jesus? Does he live in your heart? It is good to know him. But when you're going through, you got Jesus to lean on. The only way you can lean on him, you got to know him. I think I better go and read this scripture. because Y'all already got a pastor. Ooh, Lord, God is good. Truly, truly. I just a testimony to it. <clears throat> just a little, a little story. I lost my cousin about six months ago. Then I just lost her mother, so it's hard. So truth be told, it is good to know Jesus. Because yeah. if it wasn't for Jesus, I couldn't be standing here right now holding on. But it's hard. But one thing for certain and for sure, we serve a good God. Yeah. And for those who don't know him, need to know Jesus. Yeah. All right. 
Our scripture this morning be coming from Psalms 150 in its entirety. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his exceeding greatness. Praise him with trumpet and sound. Praise him with lute and harp. Praise him with trembles and dance. Praise him with strings and pipes. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with the loud classic cymbal. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Dear Father, we Touch all those under the sound of my voice, Heavenly Father. And truly, Lord, knowing you, Lord, is a gift, Lord, in itself, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, for your Lord God, and as Lord, as we made our way to this church home this morning, Heavenly Father. We ask, Lord, as the word come forth, let it you embed it within our hearts, Lord, and give us yet another opportunity to go out and tell a dying world of a living God who's able, who can, and who have. And we'll be ever so grateful to thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and praise, Lord, because truthfully, Lord, all our praise is due unto you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We love you, Lord, and we praise you. We ask all these blessings in your son Jesus Christ's name for which we pray. Amen and thank God. Good morning, Ed. Good morning. Today we are praying for Deacon Thomas Anderson, Sister Naomi Burrow, Brother Christopher Burrow, Brother Benjamin Moon, Sister Yvonne Price, Sister Eva Morgan, Sister Kenyatta Kegler, Brother Dennis Lay, Reverend Leonard Jones, Brother Jim Rhodes, Brother Horace Kegler, Sister Regina Clemens, Brother Rufus Brown, Sister Priscilla Valentine, Sister Judy Jenkins, Sister Pearl Cotton, Brother O.C. Gators, Brother Andre Shannon, Sister Shante Mulkey, Sister Henrietta Stevens, Brother Norman Bell, Arlie and Irma Cooper, Michelle and Erica London, Yolanda and Keith Bell, Margaret from DTE, Brother Bobby Moore, Sister Annette Shannon. Praying for Clarence, the son of Sister Carolyn Graham, the Beckett family and the passing of Sister Vera Beckett, Tony Shannon and children, Madison and Kaysen and the passing of Sister Stephanie Shannon, Sister April Gregory and the passing of her son Donald Gregory, Sister Teresa Fells and the passing of her sister Latricia, Latricia Betts. Also, please pray for Latricia's children, Renee and Curtis, Sister Jackie Hunter and her sister Bernice Lee and the passing of her sister's husband, Ed Lee, Sister Padina Langford and the passing of her father, Reverend William Washington, Sister Lillian Cunningham and the passing of her Aunt Claire from St. Louis and sister-in-law Ethel. Sister Cynthia Reed and the passing of her aunt, Sister Doris Sutton. Praying for Deacon Marlon Neighbors and family and the passing of his Aunt Cynthia Cooper. And praying for Sister Jamise Martin and the passing of her stepmother. Let's please continue to lift those names mentioned in your prayer. And the Hannah House uh, to receive some applications and therefore anyone that is 50 years of age and older uh, for a $50 a month reduction in your internet bill and if you don't have internet you can get it 
and you will get a $50 a month reduction. And this is a permanent thing. The elig eligibility requirements are on the applications. If you think that you have someone in your household that may qualify, uh, maybe you have a disabled person, and if they're on uh, Medicare, Medicaid, they receive SNAP, things like that, then you'll still be eligible. So even if you're not sure, take an application, look at the requirements. If you don't meet them, if you know someone who does, pass it on to them. They do not have to live in the city of Detroit. So they don't have to be a Detroit resident. Uh, get the applications after service. Sister Cynthia Reed has some. Um, I have some. I'll give some to uh, Madeline and to Tyra. So you can see one of the health ministry, um, Sharonda, whoever else is here from the health ministry. Because you want to get these filled out and turned in as soon as possible. We have envelopes for you. I apologize, I don't have stamps. If you don't want to mail it back, if you want to bring it back in next Sunday and give it to me, I will put the stamps on it for you and I'll mail it out. The second presentation is coming on behalf of the National Baptist Convention, USA Incorporated, and the Hope Health Ministry which I am a part of now. I am one of the regional coordinators um, over the Midwest District, which uh, includes Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Ohio, West Virginia, and Wisconsin. Now, when I said I'm a part of, that means I'm a member of New Ebenezer, so that means that New Ebenezer is a part of this. Um, our health ministry, we would like other people to come on board if you would like to, and you can talk to me later about more opportunities. Some of the other ministries, the nurses, whoever, uh, can join in this effort. But on Wednesday, October the 27th, they will be doing a telethon, and it will come from all over the United States. It's going to start in Mississippi. We will be on sometime during our Bible study, our Bible study time, you know, um, which is seven. Uh, we're down here from six to seven. So it may be a few minutes after Bible study. I would ask that if you want to be a part of this, see me today because you, I have to get you to sign some release forms. Now, the All of Us Project, I don't know if anyone's familiar with it. It's a research project that looks at how genetics play a part in our health. And you know, as black people, we have a tendency to get everything, but we haven't been treated quite fairly. Um, I'm looking around now. I wear glasses, Nisi wears glasses, Cynthia wears glasses, and I guarantee you, we probably can't see out of each other's glasses because we all have a different prescription. We're unique to our prescriptions. This is what all of us is about, precise medicine, precision medicine. So this is not a research to give you medication, but they wanna study your genetics. So we would like for you to sign up for it. It's a five-year program um, so that they can find out more about you. And they will, this will be personal information that's kept with the research center. I'm just a spokesperson for it. I have nothing to do with the research. So please, I see the pastor is present, so please see me after service. Um, so if you're interested in signing up for it, and I can explain a little more to you about it. Plus, I understand that um, we're going to put a link on our uh, page today. And it'll tell you where you can go in and watch a couple of videos that only take like three minutes. And it'll explain the project better. I thank you for your attention. I thank Pastor Mills for this time. And I'm getting ready to leave from up here. Have a blessed day.
Come on, if God is your all in all, come on, give him your best. He is my man. Come on, let me hear you all over the sanctuary. Oh, yeah. God is. God is. Where you at, Saint? God is my all. And my all and all. My all and all. My all and all. Hey, God is. Is he your all and all? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. God, we thank you for grace. We thank you for mercy. Thank you for love and for kindness. Thank you for another day, another chance, and another privilege to be in your house. You've been good to us, better to us than we've been to ourselves. You blessed us and kept us, sustained us, and brought us together again that we might lift, glorify, and magnify your name. Have now your way in preaching. Pour in. Let us pour out that when we leave this place, we leave here the better. Not because of us, but because of your word. Therefore, we give you glory, we give you honor, and we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. The saint says amen and bless God. He's my all in all. Mm -hmm. God is, he is my all. Just hunt your neighbor and say, he is my all and all. He is my all and all. We certainly greet you again in the powerful and precious name of Jesus, who is our risen Savior who is our Lord, Keeper, and King. We praise and bless God for blessing us, keeping us, and allowing us to gather again in his name. The Lord is good. <laughs> I'll say it again. The Lord is good. And the Lord is certainly worthy, even on today, of all of our praises. We pray for all of those names, all of those names that have been listed on our prayer list on today. We lift and cover all of those families uh, in our prayers uh, on today, that God being the God that he is, that God will bless, that God will sustain, and that God will certainly keep us in this difficult time of both life and this difficult time of living. Again, we pray for all of those individuals who desire the prayers of our church. We keep you lifted and covered in prayer. Sister Jamise Martin, in the passing of her stepmother and her cousin, we certainly lift them in prayer on today that God will grant them the peace that they need. Sister Lillian Cunningham and family last week, Sister Cunningham was in St. Louis uh, for the homegoing services of her aunt. And on the other day, uh, we got a call of the passing of Pastor Cunningham's only sister, uh, Ethel, who has went home to be with the Lord. So I ask that you all will certainly lift that family and cover them in your prayers I was sharing with them I had an opportunity uh, just a couple of, about a month or so ago, having a long conversation with Ethel. We talked about life living, but most importantly, we talked about salvation, uh, surrendering. She said, Pastor Mills, I want to make sure, you know, that I'm in order with the Lord. And so we were talking about salvation and her surrendering her life uh, to the Lord. And so I pray that God will cover her family now that God would keep them as they move through this difficult time of life and living. Life has so many things that are going on in it, and a lot of times we miss things that are happening in life. You all pray for Sister Carolyn Graham uh, and her family, Carolyn's son, Clarence. You all lift Clarence in your, uh, in your prayers. Clarence is dealing uh, with, some, with some issues. And on the other day, uh, Clarence jumped out of a four-floor window 
uh, through the glass uh, there. And so I want you all to lift him and cover him uh, in, your, in your prayers and that God will cover their family. Listen, you never know what a person is going through and what a person is dealing with or what a person is capable of. But God, I'll say it again, but, but God is able to sustain them. And so when people are going through this, I talk about this so often, when people in your family is going through, you better learn patience. You better learn to listen and then learn to get close. Don't get so preoccupied. He just lost his father uh, a couple of months ago. He lost his dad a couple of months ago. And everybody don't take death the same way. And people deal with death differently. And you can't expect people just to always adjust and carry on. But when you love a person, I said when you love a person and that love is real, you patiently pause, patiently pause long enough to be able to hear, to be able to listen and to be able to be close to that person. You never know. I'll leave it at that. You never know what people are going through. So certainly keep them lifted and certainly keep them covered uh, in your prayers on today. Brother Neighbors them shared with his family on, on uh, yesterday. And so you all keep them lifted and covered in your prayers. And then you sitting in the pews holding your little secrets. We pray for you too because... We never know what you're going through and what you're dealing with, but the Lord knows. Somebody say, he knows, he knows. I'm so glad he knows just how much we can bear. Amen. I praise God for that. Listen, our friends and brothers and sisters across the street at the Christ Cathedral Church, they invite us uh, to come and share with them on next Saturday from 5 to 9 p.m. as they have their fall festival. They invite you all to come on out and share with them. Truck or treat, games, movie night, bring a chair, food and drinks. And it's sponsored by the, uh, by the youth department. It's open to the public. Donations are welcome. My friend and brother, Pastor George Williams, they invite you all to come over uh, and to share with them on next week. Sister Fells was up talking just a few moments ago, and, uh, and this was some powerful information that she was sharing uh, with us, not just about the Internet, but also uh, about the health initiative uh, that is taking place. There are so many things that are going on in your body that you know nothing about. You know nothing about. And sometimes, beloved of God, to get a finger prick and to give a little blood is worth saving your life. The things that can be revealed to you that will save your life. In the African-American community, we miss these opportunities to know what's going on with us. We're fearful and we're so afraid of everything. We miss these are real opportunities. And we miss these opportunities, and these opportunities are important to us. The National Baptist Convention and its Hope Ministry is reaching out after being partnering with so many organizations. They're reaching out to our community so that we can do things that will help us to live longer. People are just dropping. People are walking and just dropping and not knowing that they have conditions going on in their bodies. And so I encourage some of our members to sign up with Sister Fail. Sign up with us. She told me about this project. They called me up. Brother Minor and me talked about it. And uh, I'm signing up. I want to know everything about me. If we're giving you a little drop of blood on Wednesday and signing up or signing up for the program, and they'll call me. They partner with Henry Ford Hospital and uh, what have you, I'm signing up, I'm giving my information. When they call me, I'm going to give them my little drop of blood and let them tell me everything that's in me. I, they might find a genius gene that I ain't found yet. Y'all hear me talking? I'm going. I, I, am, I am doing what needs, to be, what needs to be done. So let me encourage you all to do that. And then lastly, let me encourage you all to get your boosters. If you get your booster shot, get your booster shot. I ain't got nothing to do with the rest of y'all who don't want no shot. I'm talking to us who know better. 
For us who know better, booster shot is available. Get your booster shot. Get your flu shot. Y'all hear me talking? Get your flu shot. Get your shingle shot. Old people like me, get your shingle shot, you know, and get your pneumonia shot and carrying on, get whatever it is that's going to cover you in the day and times in which you live. The Lord got a, he's a fence all around me, but he also gives us some wisdom. He also gives us, he also gives us some wisdom. I've been talking with some families this week, three families this week, who have lost young people in their families because they don't want to get the vaccine and, and, and they're still living Still going everywhere, still doing everything, still around people. And people have been calling Sister Mills and I sharing this week of, of their passing of family members, 29, 30, and 40 years old, you know, because people are saying, I'm not going to get it, and it ain't real, and they ain't going to put nothing in my body. But they smoke weed, don't know what's in that devilish weed, taking heroin, snorting, and all of that stuff in can on. Drinking liquor and partying and falling out and all of that, can on, but then talking about what you ain't going to get. Listen, this is what I told New Ebenezer some months ago. If you ain't going to get it for you, get it for me. Hey Amen. Get it for me if you don't get it for you. Get it for me. Get it for the people around you. And you getting it for the people around you might just turn around and be a blessing for you. Amen. Somebody told me the other day, yeah, but people still getting it. This is this the new thing. Colin Powell got two shots and Colin Powell died. Read the whole story. The man had cancer and other ailments. Read the whole story, black people. All oh, black people hear is what they want to hear. See, I told you. And carrying on. Let me just let you know, we're not financially equipped to bury none of y'all who ain't got vaccinated, so please get vaccinated. Church ain't financially equipped, and I don't give the GoFundMes. Amen, somebody. Look, lastly, here is a great event that's going to take place on November the 19th. You don't want to miss this. You're going to hear me talk about this at our church because what we're going to do is prepare as a church to be able to go uh, and to rent a, a uh, one of the... Uh, theater studios so that our church can go and share uh, in this presentation of a movie uh, entitled The Young Evangelist. Black promoters, black promoters of the young of the young evangelists. It is a great, it is a great movie about the life uh, and legacy uh, of a young man who has given his life to Christ. This is being done by the house of uh, the house of John's and uh, it's called The Young Evangelist. Brother John Fredericks was in town uh, on the other day, spoke to some churches, uh, hung out with me and Sister Mills one day and shared he is the, he is the, is the writer and the producer uh, of this, uh, The Young Evangelist. And Pastor Larry Mills is an executive producer uh, of The Young Evangelist uh, as well. He's an executive producer. Sister Mills and I got a special invitation to the red carpet premiere. Oh, yeah, we're going to be all dressed up like Beyonce now. We going in. We going down the red carpet and go share in the premiere of it. But it premieres uh, in, in theaters, particularly in Detroit, beginning on November the 19th. And I'm going to get some more information. They're sending us updates every uh, Every week, uh, every day, I should say about it. And it's a great premiere movie. And uh, I got a promo. I'm going to put the promo out. I'm going to put our TVs up one day. I'm going to put the promo out so that you all can see the promo as well. And that we be able to go uh, and share uh, as a church. As a church, we're going to go and share. I'm going to tell you all the stipulations off air to go in the studio with us and uh, the theater with us and be able to share. But I want to invite you all to come and share with us uh, the Young Evangelist, a great Christian movie, and uh, it will be a blessing to your life. Somebody say, it'll be a blessing. <clears throat> it'll be a blessing to your life on today. All right, pray for the preacher. Get your Bibles. Go to Matthew chapter 24. Go there with me. Get your Bibles. Time. Is filled with swift transition. Oh, not on earth, sun, moon, 
Y'all know it. You ought to be yeah, something's eternal. You ought to hold to God's own. Y'all know it, don't you? Come on. Cause not this world's vain riches. Oh, Lord, yeah, that's a rapper. Seek to gain the heavenly. Who they will rapidly. Y'all ready? Everybody ought to hope. Oh, God, some changing. You ought to hold to his. God, some changing. You ought to be your hope. Some things he. You ought to hold to God's own. One more time. Mm -hmm. My brother wants you hold. To his hand, oh God, son, you are the head to his head, oh, God's unchanging. You are the beer, your hopes are fancy. Oh, Lord, I hope. Just look around you, just look around you, just look around you. Tell him. Oh, to his yeah, God's son, you are the head to his God's unchanging. You are the be your hopes of things. You are the head to God's son. Matthew chapter 16. Hold to his. <laughs> you are the hold to his. You are to be your tall things. This life has been completed. If to God you have been true, fair and bright your home and door. Oh, yeah, in rapture. Come on, put your hands together. Come on. My brother wants you home. Yeah, God's son. Sister, won't you hold to his? God's unchanging. You ought to be your hopes of things eternal. Hey. One more time. Why don't you hold? Come on, saints. You are the whole to his. You are to be your hopes of things eternal. Say, shake it off, shake it off. Come on, worship him. Come on, my Lord, my Lord.
Somebody, I'm holding on. I'm holding on. I'm holding on. Don't give up yet. Don't give in. Don't lose your hope. Hold on. My, 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 my. You ought to be your hope. Somebody ought to say, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I'm holding on. I'm holding on. I'm holding on. I'm holding on. Storm may rise. Winds may blow. Sickness might come. Trouble all around me. I'm holding on. Tell somebody, say, I'm holding on. Tell them I'm holding on. Y'all don't mind if I stay here, do you? Tell him I'm holding on. I'm pushing my way through. I'm pushing my way through. I'm shaking off what's on me. I'm holding on. Sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down, sometimes I'm crying oh, loud. I'm holding on. I say I'm holding on. Anybody holding on? Say yeah. Holding on, holding. Holding on. Holding on, not going to let go of my faith. Ah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. At least let me read the scripture. Somebody's ready to give up. Somebody's ready to throw in the towel. Somebody has had enough. Somebody's at wish in. But the Lord told me to tell you, hold on. We gotta wait upon the Lord. Shall we renew their strength? Shall them out up with wings of eagles. Shall run and not get weary. Shall walk and not faint. I'll go hold on. I'm going to see. I'm going to see what the end going to be. 
Tell somebody I'm holding on. I'm holding on. Tell somebody I'm holding on. Tell somebody I'm holding on. Tell them I'm holding on. Let me just stay here. Tell them I'm holding on. Why are you holding on, Reverend? Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Why are you holding on, Reverend? I've never seen the righteous forsaken. Know his seed. Begging in prayer. Why are you holding on, Reverend? He promised never to leave me, nor to forsake me. Why are you holding on, Reverend? He's on my side. He walks with me. He talks with me. He's leading me and he's guiding me. Why are you holding on, Reverend? He promised no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. Why are you holding on, Reverend? He says, be thou faithful and do a hardness here as a good soldier here and hold on here and see what the end gonna be here. Why are you holding on, Reverend? Because well God is on my agenda here. Why are you holding on, Reverend? He's with me here. He dies with me here. He protects me here. He encourages me here. He died for me here. He was buried for me here. He rose for me here. And one of these days, he's coming back again for me. Say it. Say it. Say it. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody's watching. You need to hold on. Somebody's listening. You need to hold on. Somebody's a believer. You need to hold on. Somebody's at that low point. Tell them, church, you need to hold on. Wait on him. Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thine, thine heart. Hold on. Hold on. Well, the invitation is extended. Hold on. Hold on. Somebody knows the results of holding on. And some of you all ought to testify. I know the results of holding on. I've been through the storm and rain, but I held on. And the day I can testify, I made it. I've had some ups and downs, but I held on. Now I testify, I made it. I've been knocked down, but I got back up with the help of the Lord. And here I am. Testifying to a dying world. I made it. I don't know who that was for. I know it was on my agenda. It was for me. The Lord is speaking. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't let the snares of the enemies grip on and grab you. Take a hold of you. When David was dealing with the enemies, David said, I'll lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. 
my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and who made earth. That's why you hold on. Because you know where your help comes from. You know who's on your side. I don't know who this for today. I believe it's for all of us. Those in the sanctuary. Those virtually watching. Those on the phone. Somebody is at that place in life. Were you ready to give in? Were you ready to give up? I just want to talk to you. Sister Braggs, I know it's heavy. Don't give up. Don't give in. Don't let it take you out. Carolyn and April, I know it's bigger than you. But it's just right for the God of our salvation. You don't have to give in to what's going on around you. Scud Ham, you just gotta. Matter, 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 matter of fact, do the hell you Jackson. Precious Lord. Take. my hand, take the, take my hand and lead me home. And when I feel like giving up, let me, let me stand. I'm weak, but you strong. You are mighty. Gotta let the Lord lead you through. I'm so through. I'm so through. I'm so through. Can I say it one more time? You ought to build your hope so thing. See, time. Turn up, you better hold to rise and change it. I don't know who this is for today, but just one more time, one more time, one more time. One more time. You ought to build your hopes on things eternal. Eternal. You better hold to God's hand. Changing it. Maybe it's for y'all on this side of the church because over here they ain't got it yet. You ought to feel your hopes on things to try eternal. You better hold to God's hand. Change hands. This invitation is for you. Maybe you never accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of your life. Maybe you strayed away from the foe. And the Lord says you need to renew that relationship with him. Maybe New Ebenezer is your church home. Maybe the Lord says I'm your under-shepherd, your pastor. This invitation is for you. 
man, woman, boy or girl, you ought to come and be forever blessed. This is your invitation. I'm speaking to you. You ought to hold to his hands. God's son. Oh, this is your invitation. Come on. You ought to be. The door is open. The door is open. You ought to hold. If you're watching, Pastor Mills, I want to give my life to Christ. 313-361-0087. Put it in the chat section. I want to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior of our life. This is your invite. Come on. If you're in the sanctuary, you want to become a part of this church? The Lord says give your life to him. Come on. Change in hand you ought to be. This to you one more time. My brother wants you home. Oh, God's unchanging You ought to hold to his hand. Oh, Lord, God's unchanging You ought to be. Take your seat if you can. My, 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 my. We're in this journey is completed. Anybody in there with me? Oh, and if to God have been true. about y'all. Favor. Just give the Lord one of your best praises. Won't you do it? Give him one of your best praises for this worship. How good the Lord is. Somebody ought to say, man, bless the Lord. Praise him on today. How good the Lord is. How good the Lord is. 
scripture text would have said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. Denying Christ means make self-sacrifices and holding on like Jesus did. In spite of the obstacles that might come our way. Somebody ought to say, bless God, bless God. Bless God. We're in a season of uncertainty. We don't know what tomorrow holds. We don't know what's coming our way. We don't have time to play with the Lord. If you ever gonna get real, get real now. Make a real choice to surrender to the permissive will of the Savior. Somebody say amen, amen, amen. It's giving time. It's giving, it's giving time. Yeah. It's giving time. My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. My Lord. Come on, one more time. Bless him. Won't you do it? <clears throat> in preparation for giving, in preparation for giving, let me take a moment and thank our women for our awesome Women's Day service so last week. Awesome. Awesome Women's Day experience on last week. Our First Lady blessed us, didn't she? Blessed us immensely on last week. Sister Patricia Taylor, oh my God. On last week, we were blessed immensely by the women of our church. And I praise and thank God uh, for these awesome women. Somebody say amen for them, won't you? I praise God for all of these women. The sisters were unified. Y'all were unified. In one way, and so I praise and bless God for you all on, uh, on last week. Third Sunday is Men's Day. The men will be in charge of the worship experience on, next, on the uh, third Sunday in November. Blue suits, light blue shirts with blue ties, the uniform. Blue suits, light blue shirts, blue ties. A man who puts on a blue suit is handsome not, no matter how ugly he is. I'm just talking stuff. I want to be a blessing. <laughs> I want to be a blessing. Mary, you better quit laughing. <laughs> I want to be a blessing. All right, it's giving time. It's giving time. Come on, let's stand all over the sanctuary. Preparation for giving those of you at home. Stand as well. <clears throat> Stand as well. We're proud to give through Givelify. You can give three ways through Givelify. You can give to Ebenezer Baptist Church. You can give in person. And you can also mail or drop off your tithes and offerings uh, to the church uh, as well. If you didn't get a chance to do your Women's Day assessments, you can still do that as well also. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to give. Bless now the gifts and the givers. Let it be used for the purpose of which it is received. We get glory, honor, and praise for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give. Let's give. Let's give. You're in the sanctuary. You need to give. You didn't give outside. Our officers will assist you. How 
good the Lord is. While we're giving, I want to take a moment to thank Brother Tony Moore, Moore Brothers Plumbing. As you all know, we had major flood here in our church, and our brother Moore was here until last night about 10 o'clock or so, and finally got everything working with our boiler. So you're a little bit cool, that's all right. Uh, but he came in and done the job uh, to get us going. This is a big building, so it takes a little time to heat it up, plus our flaps are up and everything. But uh, some of y'all don't have no heat on at home, so quit playing when you come up in here. Quit playing when you come up in here and can on, uh, act like you're freezing. That's why the Lord put the Holy Ghost on you like he did today. Set that fire up under you and can on. You know, sent that praise. Sent the spirit of praise in the room. Y'all got me? He sent the spirit of praise in the room. He sent the spirit of worship. You know, in the room, he sent that spirit of worship in the room. God, God knows how to what to pour in us and when to pour it in us, and He done it immensely. And so I praise and thank God for that on today. All of our leaders want you to kind of mark your calendars. We're going to do our first leadership setting the first Saturday in November, twelve o'clock noon. We'll do our first leadership setting. You all should have received that. Um, the information that I gave to you all, I'm needing you all to be present uh, and ready to be here with us. First setting, this is for leaders of our church, all of our deacons, our deacons who are watching uh, on Facebook, those who are watching on Facebook, those who are listening uh, on the phones, you need to be present. You need to be in the, in the meeting in person on the first Saturday uh, in the month of November, and then we will continue I will walk into our morning setting uh, during our Sunday school time on the first Sunday of November as well. All right, that's Saturday and Sunday, 12 noon on that Saturday, and then we're going to come together uh, again on that Sunday uh, morning. This is important to our church. This is important to our spiritual growth. This is important, most importantly, to the leadership uh, of our church. It is important. Now, you can make an adjustment for all the other stuff. You need to make an adjustment for leadership. Amen. Got to make an adjustment. Got to make an adjustment for leadership. These things must be done. And I'll have you out of here. I'll come in at 12 by about 1.30. Uh, I'll be ready to have you all going out the door on the first Saturday. The first Saturday in November. What's that date? November the 6th. All right, November the 6th, the first Saturday, November the 6th, the 12 o'clock noon. Give y'all a chance to get up and get here. All right, give y'all a chance. Mother Ernie, why are you looking at me strange like that? You know, I got my good glasses on today. I can see everything up in here. I can see who got a haircut, who didn't, and all that type of stuff. All right, but that first Saturday, that first Saturday needs y'all to be here uh, in November. First Saturday in November. And that Sunday uh, as well. Need you all to be present. All right? Listen, God bless you all. Heaven smile upon you with our prayer. See Sister Teresa, they're on your way out. Uh, please get that information about the, uh, about the internet. Y'all get it. Get that information about the internet. You don't have it in your home. Get it. There's a possibility you can get it for free. And uh, we'll show you how to take your iPads and your phones and go on Zoom and be able to do some Zoom stuff. Amen with us as well. So go ahead, get that information. Uh, all of you all who are 50 and over, and that's a lot of y'all up in here that are, that are ages 50 uh, and over. I don't want to call your names, but you in here. You know, you in here. You in here. You hiding behind your mask, but you old. Come on and stand. You are in there 50 and, 50 and over. Get that information uh, about, about the internet as well. How good the Lord is. I ain't leaving out nothing them. I ain't forgetting nothing. See y'all at Bible class on Wednesday. See you at Bible class as well. Oh. Listen, I want y'all to be prayerful with me. Next Sunday, I'm going home. I'm going home to my home church. Uh, on next Sunday, I'm going to do our service. And then I'm going to go to my home church. I encourage some of you all to come and go with me. Uh, to our home church 
uh, I only had one pastor for 50 years. I just had one. This past is Appreciation Month. So I've been kind of holding all my stuff together, you know, and carrying on. And um, I've only had one pastor for, uh, for 50 years. Uh, I teach that every pastor needs a pastor. I teach that. And so I am in the, uh, I am in the process of, uh, of selecting my new pastor. All right. I've only had one pastor uh, for 50 years. I've had two pastors, but one for 50 years. And uh, our home church is celebrating its 54th. Uh, church anniversary on next week and so I'm going home uh, to preach for the church anniversary and I don't talk much about it but every time I go home Now may the love of God, sweet communion, the Holy Spirit, rest through the Bible with us. And forth now and forevermore. Saints say amen. Amen. amen.